we talked about how Coca-Cola has been around for 128 years and is currently in the maturity stage. However, not all products are so lucky. Here are examples of three other life cycles for three very different types of products. The first, style. As you can see, sales rise quite steeply. However, they also drop off pretty quickly as well. But the thing with style is it comes in and out of style. An example of this would be haircuts and even the popularity of people's names. The key thing to remember with styles are, from a product lifecycle perspective, it comes and it goes, but it never truly dies. Style is the most unpredictable trend of the three. A style has a cycle that it runs through, and we see a mix of increased and decreased sales over time. A style is the manner in which a product is presented, and certain styles come and go. Once a style is invented, it can last for generations, at times going in and out of style. For example the current style for mobile phone is touchscreen, and this style will last until a new technology style appears. So the shape of a style product life cycle is like a wave, as one style fades out, another appears. The next one is fashion. Fashion, from a sales perspective, not as steep or not as sharp as style. However, people eventually pick it up. It eventually gets to the point where everyone's into it and then slowly fades away. A good example of this would be skinny jeans. I remember a few years ago, everybody was wearing skinny jeans. These days, less and less and less. Right now, what seems to be really in fashion would be yoga pants, but once again, we're probably seeing the middle to the end of yoga pants as well, or maybe not, who knows. The thing to remember with fashion is, we don't really know how long it's gonna be here for, but eventually it does fade away. The thing with fashion is, it's slow growth, in the sense not everybody picks it up straight away, but it also takes a bit of time to fade off. As opposed to style, fashion is a more steady progression of a trend. Fashion starts out, increases steadily, plateaus, and then decreases proportionally to a decline. Now when the word fashion is thrown out there, most people think of clothing. Certain clothing fashions last for a short period, and the product life cycle will decline very rapidly, whilst others will decline slowly, or even turn into what is known as a timeless classic product life cycle. Fashion have a much longer lifespan than fads. In fact, they can continue to be fashionable for years and even decades. The primary difference between fashion and a fad is that fashion have the potential to be long-term influencers on the market. And the last one, fad. Fad has a really, really sharp incline when it comes to sales. This thing gets popular really, really quick. It's like all of a sudden, everyone's doing it. This is it. This is the most popular thing there's, there, there possibly is. A good example of this would be that really annoying song, Baby Shark. Like bang it, it came everyone was singing that stupid song and now it's gone but because i mentioned it it's probably in your head for which i would like to apologize profusely but what about the nene do you guys remember the nene very popular once upon a time it became really popular really quickly and then faded away Fads have the most unreliable trend line in the product life cycle, as they have a quick rise and steep decline all in a short period of time. Fads are usually driven by consumer support and immediate brand popularity. A fad can characterize an entire product's life cycle or even a part of a normal product life cycle. The easiest way to categorize a fad is one word. Short-lived. Typically, fads last for a few months, but they can also last less than a month. Fads are novelty-driven choices and will often fade as quickly as it appeared. Although as a business engaging in fads can be fun, they are often not worth investing a large amount of money or time. It's also important to consider, sometimes a product may follow the standard product life cycle, but have one stage of the product life cycle, which is a fad type of unusually high peak in sales. So, just to recap, styles may come in and out of style a decade apart or a few years apart, whereas a fashion comes and eventually goes. It just fades away. Whereas a fad comes in really quick, kind of like a wrecking ball, and then disappears just as quickly. And you're left wondering, what was that all about? 